Brandon behind the camera. So we're going to go over uh, how to defibrillate a patient using the Philips defibrillator. All right, uh, given that you've done all of your checks and you make sure that the right upper corner is, has the hourglass flashing, meaning that it's functional, you should be able to turn the defibrillator dial up to 150. And um, you let it boot up, of course. It'll show the rhythm. Right now I have it showing a VTAC. Um, it also shows these other advanced features, which I'll go over um, in other videos. Uh, so for now, since we're defibrillating, uh, one thing that you do want to keep in mind... Without sign of compression. I'll let it finish talking. One thing that you do want to keep in mind is if it's a witness arrest, a witness arrest, and uh, the patient goes pulseless in front of you, you want to shock right away. There's no need to uh, do chest compressions, and the reason is because the perfusion is still adequate if it's a witness arrest. Like if they were, for example, just talking to you, and all of a sudden this rhythm shows up on the screen and you check them out, and they have no pulse, and look at this guy has no pulse, we can charge and shock. So right now we're gonna defibrillate at 150, so I'm gonna charge to 150, make sure everybody's clear, Brandon's clear, I'm clear, and then you hit the shock button, all right? So that's uh, defibrillation.